Extreme weather and our changing climate means that forecasting becomes even more important. To help you become more climate ready, ABC News and the ABC owned television stations have teamed up to help you navigate this new reality. Eyewitness News reporter Shayla Girardin breaks down what we can expect when it comes to a water forecast. We're kicking off a new water year October 1st, and here's the timeline that we're usually looking for. Those fall rains start in October. Then the bulk of our rainfall comes from December to February, plus our peak snowpack, that's in April. But what is this year going to look like? Well, climate experts are warning we could see some extremes. As a new water year approaches, meteorologists are preparing for the months to come. After a hot and dry summer, they're expecting a late start to the wet weather. What we're seeing in the forecast right now is that we're likely off to another late start uh, to the wet season, meaning the uh, dry conditions continuing and certainly still seeing the above normal temperatures. High pressure is also in the mix, meaning rainfall could be delayed this year. That can happen, like I say, as the high pressure kind of keeps things uh, pushing storms to the north, and we're seeing that right now uh, with almost all the precip activity really hitting very southern end of Alaska and uh, northern British Columbia. But when it arrives, forecasters are urging the public to be ready. We could see more extreme rain events during dry seasons. The one constant we are seeing is that extremes are getting more extreme. Our droughts are getting longer and hotter. Our big storms are getting stronger since warmer air can hold more moisture. Forecasters are also on the lookout for Santa Ana and Diablo wind events this fall and the potential for decaying tropical systems to cause thunderstorms, both concerning for fire crews. We end up with some pretty good precip events and sometimes with some thunderstorms and thunderstorms if they're dry can be fire starters, which can be a problem. Our water demand is usually the highest from May to August. But remember, our September this year started out dangerously hot, so we're still on the tail end of the season. We'll finish this water year by end of September. In studio, Sheila Girard at ABC7 Eyewitness News.